Hi guys, my name is Johnny and today I'm going to be talking about the Decentraland Games 6th uh, NFT Ice Poker Drop. And I'm doing this quick little video and little tutorial um, to kind of give you guys an update about the new minting requirements and setting you guys up um, as best I can so that way you guys can hopefully get an NFT um, when the mint is available. So nothing I say here is financial advice, it is for informational and educational purposes only. Now without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so let's take a look at the website over at Decentral.Games. They do have an upcoming mint Thursday, January 13th at 6 p.m. UTC. Now, if you don't know what time that is, go ahead and Google that. It will give you your local time and then you can plan accordingly. Now, I do have another video outlining in great detail on how to get this thing set up. Now, the two main differences on this upcoming mint is that we are going to be minting with half an Ethereum or 0.5 Raptor Ethereum on the Polygon main net and also there is a check eligibility button to make sure that we do it all right and we are all set up and ready to mint when it's ready now i'm going to go through the tutorial quite fast now if you have any questions please refer to my older video so the first thing that you're going to want to do is get a metamask wallet add that in and then what you're going to do is you're going to want to add the polygon main net and how you get that is the information that's here and once you get into the Polygon main net, you're gonna switch it over here. And the easiest thing that I have found is to get all of your tokens set up. So what I would do is head over to CoinMarketCap, I would type in DG, and then I would add the token from here, copy the address, go over to your assets, import tokens, paste the address here. I already have it, but if you don't, make sure it's there. You're gonna wanna get DG, you wanna get XDG. Copy that. XDG. And the reason why we're doing this is just so that way you can see your tokens move when we make the exchanges. Now, once you have that set up, the first thing that you're going to want to do is that if you're completely new and you don't have anything here, is to go to an exchange like Crypto.com, purchase a bunch of Matic. So I would say anywhere between about 1,200 and 1,500 Matic tokens would be enough. I am completely taking a guess here, but once we do the transactions, hopefully some of this will start making sense and we can work backwards on that math. Now, once you have the Matic tokens, the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to quickswap.exchange, and then you're going to want to swap your Matic into DG. Now, when you transfer this over, make sure that you transfer more than 1,000. I do recommend overshooting it and aiming for at least 1050 or higher. So you're going to be swapping in about, you know, so you'll be swapping in about 220 Matic. You're going to get about 1,100. DG and the reason why you want to overshoot DG is that you will lose some when you go from DG to XDG. So once you have that, you're going to hit swap or approve. Now once you have that in place, you will see your DG balance go up here. So that way, that's a great way for you to verify it. Now once you have that, what you're going to do is then you're going to want to go from DG over to XDG. And for example, the 1100 that we have will get us just over that thousand mark and we lose about, you know, a couple of tokens there. But once you have that, hit swap and then what you're going to do, you're going to go see your bounce go from DG to XDG. Now once you have that set up, you are good to go with the staking portion of this tutorial. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to convert some Matic over into Ethereum. And so you're going to go here, go to your Matic, and then you're going to go here, go to your Ethereum, and then you're going to want to swap enough to get 0.5 or a little bit above 0.5. So about 750 Matic will get you there and then you're going to hit swap. Now, if you do happen to have Ethereum on the Ethereum mainnet, for example, so if you are already familiar with this and you have some Ethereum on the Ethereum mainnet, or if you happen to accidentally transfer it from like Coinbase 
over here what you can do is you can go to Umbria and you can actually bridge assets so it's this address here I'll include that in the description and then you can go from the Ethereum mainnet to the Polygon network and now once you connect your wallet you will have this here and then once you swap it it will transfer your ethereum over into the polygon mainnet you can use the polygon bridge it is way more expensive in my experience this has been a lot a lot cheaper to use and not to worry even if you have ethereum or if you have matic the whole point is once you get tokens onto the polygon mainnet it is so much cheaper to make transactions with now, once you've swapped that, you can check over on your Polygon mainnet, make sure that you have all of the assets in place. You have the XCG, you have swapped for your 0.5 Ethereum. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna head over to decentral.games slash ice slash marketplace. And then when you connect your wallet, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're back on the Ethereum mainnet, even though all of your assets on the, are on the Polygon mainnet. Now, once you have that in place, you can click check eligibility and what it should show up is that you are ready to mint. It will check to make sure that you have at least 0.5 Ethereum and then you have some staked DG. Now that's pretty much it. You are pretty much set up to take on the mint and between using ICE or Ethereum, it's going to be one or the other. So both of these tutorials that I've created should cover you guys and set you guys up to get this minted. Now, if you like this video and you found it helpful, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And good luck on the mint, and I'll talk to you guys soon.